All right, hi. Uh, it's me again, and I'm gonna try and do this uh real fast because we uh well I there's a lot to review here. <laughs> a lot to review here. Okay, and spoilers for all the Disney Plus series. Okay, all of them, every single one of them. I, I mean, well, maybe not every single one. Everyone that has come out since till this point. Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki. Just a heads up, so. If you haven't seen them, turn them now. Okay. So there is figures from WandaVision and Falcon the Winter Soldier, and there is none for Loki, but I was going to go over the figures that they have available and the ones I feel like they probably should add. All right. Um, so it's been a while, sorry. But these have been sitting around here for a while, and I wanted to do reviewing them so bad, but work, everything else got in the way. You know what, it was just... Brief summary of that, whatnot. Okay, um, so obviously I'm gonna be jumping around here. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Falcon becomes Captain America, and I have that figure right here. But um, I might do it first because oh man, this is so disappointing. And I don't have no problem with him being Cap, even though I kind of had a problem with the series. I think it could have been written a little bit better. No offense. The characters were written well. The plot was boring to me. I, I'm sorry, but the whole financial issues with uh, Sam and debating on throughout the entire series on if they should keep the boat or not, that was a little bit of kind of lazy writing. They threw that in there for a fill-in or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, what I'm disappointed is uh, some of the pieces got damaged. Or, well, one of them did, but it's the main piece that goes over his... Um, you have to take his head off and put it over his torso. For his Captain America Falcon wings, it's just, oh my gosh, that's so disappointing. And it, it's bent. I'm going to uh, inquiry on possibly asking if they could send me another one. If this, I mean, I don't know if it works yet, it's still in the bag, but it's bent and that kind of bothers me. Uh, I really hope it still works because I've been anticipating these figures for a long time. Long time. To the end of time. I'm just kidding. But still, that's just kind of a, that's just a bummer. I mean, I, I don't know, but it's something about the Captain America Falcon Wings that that's really, that's irking me right now. Like, I mean, I guess if anything broke, it would probably upset me, but I I don't know. There, there's something about that that, that really irked me on, on my nerves. Irked my nerves. Let's just say that's a thing. All right, all righty, righty, righty. We are going to start off with a first because obviously it came first. Vandavision. I said Vandavision. We're going to start with the Vandavision, yeah. What is that like Russian? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Vandavision figures first. And we have, um, I'm just going to call him Luchador or Mexican Wrestler Vision, which is more obviously his classical uh, look. In this particular order, of course. Um, Monica Rambeau, The Spectrum, Doctor Strange, Wiccan, and uh, Agnes. Uh, classic Quicksilver. Um, I don't know if this is classic or not, but it definitely looks like uh, Speed. Speed's costume. Uh, you know, uh, Billy and Tommy. Billy Wiccan, Tommy Speed, um, and classic uh, Scarlet Witch, who, which in the series is, uh, she reveals herself to be, um, oh, what is it, a Sokovian fortune teller. I don't know why they just go with classic costumes. I'm guessing they're, they're, they didn't want to hint into, they didn't want to break the fourth wall, even though the whole reality TV thing was kind of a, a setup from obviously Wanda. Maybe they didn't want to break the barriers of reality and uh, fiction just yet in the series, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> I, I still understand why that's what they went with, but it was still a really nice Easter egg in reference. So we're going to start with those figures first. Then we're going to move on to Falcon and the Winter Soldier and then some just random miscellaneous figures that I stumbled upon from um, elsewhere, I guess. 
I'm just throwing them in there because I do that. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. Because I, I feel like I just wanted to. What order? Oh yeah, there's uh three versions of Falcon, or you can say two versions of Falcon. One cap, a cap Falcon. There's Cap Falcon. There's I believe Avengers Infinity War Falcon, and obviously his costume in the Falcon and Winter Soldier. We also have Winter Soldier. Two versions, one Winter Soldier, and one of him is more of a, a toned-down Bucky Barnes. Darren Zemo, U.S. Agent. Oh, yeah, and Carly Morgan L Leonthal. I don't know why, but she has chrome hair, and that's kind of... that that is making me kind of weirded out like i don't understand why she has chrome hair it's like it's like i i understand it's kind of like a lightish brown ginger hair but um i don't understand why it's a dark brown chrome hair it's it's so weird and i don't understand in fact because of that i might just start off with that one first and then maybe go for captain america i wanted to do captain america last because He's like the, you know, he kind of leads up to the big reveal or whatever. Because, like, yeah, he gets to be Cap, whatnot. But it's just so disappointing that One Piece broke. I really hope it still works. <sighs> Hang on a moment while I figure out and sort out um, the, uh, the order I would like to review these in. Okay, I have figured out my order. <sighs> um... I probably, uh, I do have a Firestar and Thanos figures to review. Just gotta throw them in. Also, this is, oh, I believe this is Hope Summers and she's uh, an X Men character. She has nice gr green, bright glowing eyes. And, uh, I kind of just took her apart because, to be honest, all I wanted was her head. <laughs> because she has the green glowing eyes. And, um, it kind of represents, uh, Sylvie, you know, um, Sylvie Luffy daughter in the Loki series. Um, so I like that. So this is kind of like a little Sylvie custom-ish. It, it's just, it's the pieces for, uh, the Hope Summers person or whatever, I think. But, uh, I don't know. I, I was kind of disappointed that uh, the, with the Loki lineup, they didn't really reveal a, um, a Sylvie figure. They didn't even bring in a Mortis, Iron Lad. I mean, I guess Iron Lad didn't really show up. Kid Loki wasn't even featured in that. A little bit disappointing. Classic Loki, the Mortis, Rama Tut. I don't know. Kang even. I mean, I don't know. There was no features of that. Hopefully in the next uh, series. Or season two, we will be getting that. Um, why can I think? Okay, right. I I did order away for some figures. Uh, the figures that are out ish, they're kind of out. Um, I ordered them on eBay, so um, gonna take a while to get here. Literally just ordered them today. By uh, by the way, um. But there's some figures that aren't even available on order on eBay yet. I think it's on AliExpress. But um I'm probably not gonna get them. I'm gonna wait for like for them to arrive in a combo pack listing for eBay. There is Mobius, uh Hunter C fifteen, I think that's her name. Ravona Renslayer. There's also two ver Loki variants. Oh my gosh, what are the other ones? Oh, it's really cool because the Mobius and C-15, I think they come with their um, prune sticks. I think they also come with some TVA files and whatnot, a bunch of cool bonus accessory items. What are the other figures? Oh yeah, they also come with President Loki. The, the figures that I ordered, um, the, the set I ordered comes with President Loki as well, but they're designed a little bit differently. I think there's a bunch of other figures I cannot remember right now. But yeah, that's that. And uh, those will be here whenever they get here. I mean, I can't say soon because it might maybe it won't arrive. Maybe it will arrive, maybe it won't. But these figures here now and I can review these. But yes, I will, uh, the next time I probably do a video will probably be those figures. And uh, I'm again, sorry that I don't upload a lot. 
I only do these figure reviews, and since, you know, they come from China, they take a long time to get here, like, months, and also I get busy, so, things happen, so, take it with a grain of salt, or what have you, so with any, without any further ado, um, we're gonna start with, start with the WandaVision figures, and start with Classic Vision, the Classic Vision figure, nice. Here is the Vision figure, classic Vision. You know, it was kind of funny. It was funny. I was kind of uh, really uh, kind of weirded out or against the fact that they kept using a bunch of uh, like it just the the capes being one plastic piece, but it kind of looks kind of nice too. Display wise, it kind of gives you maybe like a Watcher vibe. Uda the Watcher or any of the other Watchers, I think. And it does, and his cape does kind of look like that in the comic, so, you know, it, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, this is cool. I mean, uh, oh man, I did not like the fact that it was wobbly at first, but you know what? It's actually not so bad. It was a little bit, but it's not to the point where it's going to drive me absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, it's it's enough wobble. It's, it's a good wobble. <laughs> Whatever that even means, if that's a thing. A good wobble. And next, Monica Rambo, aka Monica Rambo, aka the Spectrum figure is next to review. Here is Spectrum Monica Rambo, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a fan of the figure at first because it didn't look like anything like her possibly in the uh, WandaVision uh, series. But um. I don't know, the, the, her hair, she never had this hair, like, ever. I don't think she ever had any hair like this before. And the face did, did not match at all. But, but, um, it's still really cool. I kind of like how the cape goes around her like that. I mean, I've seen capes go around figures before, but there is something about this that it just makes it... There's something There's something about this that just works, man. I, don't, I can't explain it. Also, the face. I was getting, like, Ravona Renslayer vibes. I wasn't even getting Monica Rambeau vibes or Spectrum. But you know what? The figure just... There's something complete about it. And I'm, I might not play with this figure, but I think it'll be great for display. It will be just super great for display. And now I'm going with Doctor Strange. Yep, it has the same kind of cape as uh, Vision had. In fact, there's another Wanda, uh, set of WandaVision figures. Um, of basically, uh, the whole entire set consists of them, of their different styles and them aging. You know, Wanda and Vision, same with Agnes and uh, Monica and all the other characters, whatnot. You know, how they... How they changed in style between the eras and the decades of how each episode inside the show was. Here is Doctor Strange. Really cool figure. Like it. Definitely. Um, display maybe. Um, I don't know why, but I really like the, um... The magic that Doctor Strange holds when it isn't consisting of two pieces. I don't know why. The stud is really getting... I don't know. It kind of irritates me because there is no stud in the middle, obviously. But I'm not going to lie. The designs they do put on it are pretty good. And they're so small you can't see it. And I'm guessing because of the quality of my camera you can't see it either. Yeah, but they're, they, they, they go real in detail. In fact, I might just take the studs off, or not, I'm not going to take the studs off, I mean, just the orange pieces, and he can just be like this. M more, most definitely probably going to put this on display. Good figure. Alright, and I'm going to keep these orange figure stud things. And I'm just going to show Loki's scepter because I felt like it and I feel like this is cool and I'm glad that they make pieces that actually look like his scepter. I also have this blue translucent one. I like that because maybe he can use it for like illusion casting of himself. 
I got those from other uh, sets. One was a, a Frost Giant variant Loki. Before this was before Loki series, so he's not really a variant. I'm just calling it a, him a variant because we obviously know one of those type of Lokis actually exists, where he's just all Frost Gianted up, <laughs> pretending that's words. And um, the Loki scepter that's not translucent, whatnot. Uh, came from a Captain America figure from a base on Avengers Endgame. And, uh, so I just want to go over that very quickly. And now, I'm doing Wiccan next. Oh, by the way, Doctor Strange, I believe, was supposed to show up in WandaVision, but thanks to COVID. Thank you, COVID, for ruining everyone's life, by the way. Um, he didn't show up. And I believe that caused some scheduling conflicts. But yeah, uh... I might use the uh, hood for Wiccan to make a uh, Red Widow, perhaps. And I'm not gonna lie, I think this is supposed to be some kind of classic look for it, but I'm not crazy about it, so I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'm gonna sell it off, maybe I'll keep it, I'm gonna see how it goes after I review it. Here's the Wiccan figure. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not keeping any aspect of this figure whatsoever. The cape's a little bit wiggly, this isn't my f uh, favorite uh, iteration, in whatever, uh, a va uh, variation of this figure, or of Wiccan. It's, it's still those studs that really bother me, I don't know why, but they do. Um, especially when the magic is, like, consisting of two pieces, I'm not a big fan of that. I like the body, but I do not like anything else. I might use his head for Loki, Loki's face. I might use the uh, the hood and the cape for maybe like a Red Widow figure, uh, custom for you know um, the Winter Guard. I guess I'm not keeping any element of this figure whatsoever. By the way, I think I forgot to show the back of it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. You know, there's that. They're kind of the same, so I didn't really. I don't think I missed showing you those side views. But yeah, they're cool. This, um, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna take this apart, use it for parts and other stuff. But, um, here is Agnes. I'm thinking about replacing her hair, most definitely. I like the hair, no, no question about it, but I don't think it's dark brown. I think it's more of that, um... If anyone's seen Lego Harry Potter, the Bell Bellatrix, I think is her name. She, I think her, uh, Agnes's hair is, um, I mean, that matches Agnes's hair in WandaVision, so yeah. She comes with Sparky as well. Here is Agnes. Oh my gosh, I dropped her. Oh, she, she landed straight up, that was kind of cool. I have nothing wrong with the hair, but I don't know. It just doesn't suit her. The hair is cool. The piece itself is awesome, but I don't know. There's something that doesn't match with it. I mean, it kind of goes well with the figure, but they're, they're, I don't know. I feel like there's... Oh, there goes Sparky. I knocked off Sparky. There's another piece that could probably work better. That's all I'm saying. But yeah. Oh yeah, the head's uh, uh, the dog's head comes off for I don't know why, what reason, but it can do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna display that because that's kind of it's not important. But now I'm going to do Quicksilver. Or should I say Ralph Boner? I'm hoping that's still Quicksilver from the Fox universe. Okay, this is uh, Quicksilver running. Uh, he has other pieces I'm going to display them with, but uh, I just want to show you the back piece before um, I, um, you know, how the, tor the back of the body looks before I put a, a piece on it. It still looks kind of nice, like the front, but it's just, it, it's a little bit different in variation. Okay, kind of good news, kind of bad news. Uh, bad news? <laughs> um, the piece that goes on his back kind of hinders the arm from uh, going uh, back further. 
So yeah, uh, it, it, on this side, this is the only, this is as far as it's going to get. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. It looks good both ways, but man, I, I don't know what, that's going to, that's kind of a bummer. I like the whole, you know, like speed kind of look. Like he's, you know, using super speed. You can even adjust how the uh, they look, too. You can spread them out. You can close them in. Actually, there's a lot of looks you can do that kind of makes him look good. Then he's, like, running fast. I can get that, and that is really cool. But, uh, man, that's a bummer that it hinders the arm movement because I wanted him to have his, like, arm way back to make him look like he's kind of, like, swinging it or something. But, yeah. I don't even know which one I prefer more. It's a really cool figure. I like how he looks like he's going fast. Put some mad respect on that. <laughs> yes. Um. I don't know. I'll I'll keep the piece itself, but I I don't want anything on the back to get ruined. So he's gonna stay like this for now, and you can have his arm all the way back. There we go. Like he's running. I I know I like that piece so much. I like the fact how he gives that that running vibe. But you know, I'm just kind of like showing it. To how it would look, kind of. Yeah, that would definitely look cool, but, you know. Kind of unfortunate. <laughs> but, it's fine. I'm definitely keeping this piece. And I'm gonna use it for exactly that. But, um, I'm keeping him like this for now, because he's cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, his stand, uh, he's not gonna have one because he can't look like, like this in his action pose, then. <laughs> Alright, last, oh wait, never mind, sorry, I missed one. Last, but, I mean, why do I keep saying that? It wasn't even last. Uh, the last one would be last, which is next after this. This one is speed. Next is speed. Here is speed. So I was fixing it. The the arm the right arm's a bit loose, so yeah. See? It can move too easily. I like this look. It's a very good look. It's a very comic book accurate kind of look. Fortunately he didn't come with any um you know uh, super speed uh, powers like uh, or uh, accessories like Quicksilver did, but yeah, he could probably wear it. I think <laughs> the thing is, I don't know how his uh, would look in the MCU. We haven't really seen his super speed show up. I don't think. Well, we we saw it, but I don't know why. I'm thinking because it's green. Maybe it'll be like green energy. Though in Wandavision, it was kind of blue. I'm thinking when they get older, it might change. I, I don't know. I'm just thinking it might happen. So, I mean, he has blue energy because he has kind of like a blue costume. That just makes sense. So, that same would apply to speed. And now, last but not least. And he's also not getting a stand either because he can't look like this pose then. Like Papa Quicksilver or something. But, uh... Last but not least, uh, the Scarlet Witch. You know, in her classic comic accurate costume. Now, here is the classic Scarlet Witch figure. Very comic book accurate and very cool. Love that look, definitely. Yes. And that is it for the WandaVision figures, wow. I mean, there might be more in the future, but at least that's it for now. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at something. Um, 
Now yeah, moving on to Falcon Winter Soldier and uh, chrome-haired uh, Carly Morgan Leanthal. <clears throat> Here is the Carly Morgan Thaw figure. Chrome hair. Can I just be the first to say that I don't really care for this character? Not not gonna lie. Just saying. And uh, she just doesn't come with two heads. But um, and I put her hair on loosely because when I put on all the way, she got her head stuck in it. So yeah. Um. She didn't need to be uh the villain. She I don't even know how she was a villain. She just seemed kind of misunderstood or whatever. But yeah. And the Flag Smashers didn't need to be a whole super team or whatnot. That that wasn't really necessary. It didn't need to be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a wasted uh, villain potential for such a series as it was. That's, I think that's another reason why I didn't like the plot so much. I mean, sure, that it was a nice plot of involving the Super Soldier Serum, but... I don't I don't think the flag smashers fit in that well with the plot. No, not really. Felt a bit forced in some kind of way. Also the flag smasher is one person and it's uh Carl Morgan Lintho. They did a gender swap thing for gender equality, I guess. I don't know. Kind of a weird thing, but yeah. Anyways. Winter Soldier is next. Here is the Winter Soldier, and I have to say, this is by the best far Winter Soldier I've ever seen. The gun is great, it got that silver metal arm, obviously. The mask is amazing, hair, oh my gosh, these details, they went all out. Seriously. This is one of my favorite Winter Soldier figures. I have many, and they weren't really that accurate. This one, this one just takes the cake by far. That that is just great. I love it so so much. I don't know why. There's just something about it, and it's awesome. Here is Bucky from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Here's Bucky from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I like this look. I'm very confused why his arm is green, but on the side uh, it's dark green, and the other side it's like dark blue. I don't know if there's something I missed in the show, but. Yeah, that kind of confuses me, so if anyone wants to feel free and let me know why that's the case, please do. That would help a lot. Thank you very much. And next is Captain America, but U.S. agent John Walker, Captain America, who was also really good in that series. Here's John Walker, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, U.S. agent. Nice, the l look of blood on the shield when he totally decapitated that guy after he killed his friend. Oh, I have a nice pistol there, too. It's really cool. I like how it's the Captain America's uh, helmet, but they got an A in the star. That's kind of nice. I like that. Yep. He was a really cool character, I'm not gonna lie. Very, very interesting. I don't think I'm gonna letting him have that pistol, though. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think that was the one he carried. It seemed like more like one from, uh, you know, the first Avengers movie. Not the first Avengers movie, but Captain America, the first Avenger movie, I meant. Oops, I'm opening it. I forgot to show you which one it was. Uh, Baron Zemo. Comes with this classic, uh, you know, mask, but it's a head. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Here is Baron Zemo. I was really hoping for more in this series. I'm sorry. I just really was. When, when I heard Baron Zemo was going to reprise his role, I'm like, yes, yes. What we're getting is the Thunderbolts. Baron Zemo's incarnation of the Thunderbolts. But no, we didn't get it. I was disappointed about that, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully that'll happen in the second season or whatnot, but yeah. He also comes with two heads. I'm not going to lie. Not a big fan of this, but this. Now this is more accurate. 
You know his face. Mask he wears when uh, exposed to the adhesive X chemical that burns his entire face off, or at least half of it or something. <laughs> the point is he wears the mask because of that incident. And we're down to the Falcons. This is Infinity War or Captain America Winter Connect Captain America Winter Soldier. Captain America actually he was in Captain America the Winter Soldier. Captain America the Winter Soldier, Civil War or Captain America the Civil War or Avengers Infinity War Endgame. Falcon. I do not know which one it is. They all kinda look the same to me. <laughs> That's not a racist thing. It's the, the costumes look the same. I can't even tell... I, I don't know. I can't tell the difference bet between them. I mean, I can't tell when they change. I can only tell when uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, came out and we saw his new suit. That's the only one I can actually tell it was different. Hi. Just kidding. Uh, just for a second. This is so cool. I actually saw this in pictures, I believe. Or there might have been a video. But the point is, you gotta check this out. Falcon's wings are so cool and unique. For Captain America, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, Falcon, and this, you know, the movie Falcon. Um, look at this. This is so awesome. I I know this is just this is just the beginning. Okay, this this detaches his drone, Red Wing. You just put it right there. That's so cool. You build this. You build the wings, and the wings can freaking move. It works for all of the rest of the figures I'm I'm about to review. For Cap, Falcon, like I said, all Falcons. So awesome, and it's 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 gonna be super seriously bad, and it's gonna be cool. Just bear with me. Okay, it took a while for me to figure it out because, wow, they just I don't know. It's like the most. This is the most advanced figure that I think I've ever seen before, but finally got it. Wow. I think I might not even built it right, but... Falcon. Oh my god, it's amazing. The wings move. The wings move. I love it so much. See? Wings can move. I, I love this additive. This is just the the peace day resistance. Sure didn't come with any guns, but this this oh my gosh, this just totally makes up for it. See? Oh my gosh, and all the Falcon figures do this. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, Red Wing has its own piece too, but like this is so hard to put together, but it's so worth it in the long run. And, oh my gosh, this is so...